Yeah, hi there, Priscilla. This is Michael. The answer is yes. My course is for pretty much, I would say, anyone from an intermediate level of English or higher. I mean, I'll give you an example. I've had people who have taken my course who were scoring about 49 out of 120 on the TOEFL, and I helped some of these students get higher than 70. Also, I had somebody earlier this year, his TOEFL score was 108 when he joined my course. When he finished six weeks later, his score was 115. He improved seven points on the speaking section uh, of the test. So it is. It's pretty much for anybody. So in your case, you have three weeks to study for the next test. Uh, I, I, I would recommend my 30-day study guide, my TOEFL study guide for you, but here's the problem in your situation, I'll, I'll be honest with you. So you have, you have 23 on the speaking, right, but you're, you're really, really high on the writing, so obviously you don't need to spend too much time in the writing section of my course. You might take one or two writing practice tests just to try to maintain your writing skills, but with your speaking, Priscilla, you actually have some problems, I'm guessing right now, with your pronunciation. You probably have a few problems with your vocabulary and your grammar. And uh, I have no idea if you can solve those problems in three weeks. Maybe. It just depends on how serious they are. So you have to work out some problems in the speaking area. So what you want to do is, when you join my course, you want to take my pronunciation pretest immediately. And let's see what kinds of problems you're having with your vowel and your consonant sounds. And I will make some recommendations as to certain lessons you can focus on. Remember, the better you are, the fewer lessons you study. You know what I'm saying? So reading is also a little bit low, which is a little bit concerning because reading takes time. And you may not be able to solve all the problems that you need to solve in just three weeks. Right? So... Uh, what you can expect, Priscilla, is students who use my course, they generally improve between 5 to 10 points for each month that they use my service. That's, that's, that's probably a realistic expectation. Now, can I guarantee that? No. I can't guarantee anything for anybody because every student is different. Your uh, brain is different. Your study habits are different. The problems that you have, the problems that you need to solve, the language issues that you need to solve will be different. So every case is different, and I, I can't really generalize. Uh, but I, I'll give you another example. I had somebody named uh, Rasa, and he took my course a couple of months ago. Actually, he took my course for 2.5 months, and he went from 81 to 105 and he's still not high enough so he took a break and he joined my course again and he needs to work more on his speaking skills so in his case he'll probably use my course for three or four months but think about it I mean he went from 81 to 105 uh, which is actually really good he got 29 on the writing so uh, anyway I, I think that my course will be beneficial for you Priscilla and like I said, it, it will be a, a good idea for you to immediately take my pronunciation pretest, and then each day after that, you want to start studying the pronunciation lessons. Meanwhile, you need to begin posting speaking practice tests because I, I see you need you need to make some improvement in the speaking area. Now, for reading, reading is a lot more of a stubborn type skill it can take some time and uh, let me just go over five basic things with you right now Priscilla to improve your reading you have to do five things specifically number one is more important than any other thing you could do is you need to begin reading if you have you're not doing this already you want to read about 45 minutes every day for several months read magazines newspapers and longer books number two study vocabulary very important, even writing down the words on note cards and studying the words individually on note cards. That's a very, very effective way to acquire vocabulary. Number three, you want to improve your reading speed to at least 300 words per minute with 80% comprehension. Number four, you need to become familiar 
with the IBT reading test taking strategies, you want to understand the different questions and how to answer those questions during the reading section. And then number five, you want to take TOEFL level reading practice tests and then go over the answers, especially the problems that you're missing. So if you do those five things, you will definitely make improvements in your reading. The problem is a lot of students, they only focus on the IBT reading test taking strategies and then they take a lot of TOEFL practice tests. However, if they haven't done steps one through three, it's kind of like a car spinning in the mud. They're not going anywhere very fast. So you have to really work on those first three steps first and then you can go to step number four and five with the reading. So that's uh, those are my comments for you, Priscilla. Anyway, uh, good questions, by the way. I hope to have used one of my students remember that a lot of students use my course however long they think they need it. You create a subscription by PayPal when you no longer want to use my course, you simply cancel. You just cancel your subscription and then you're done. All right, thank you. And good luck to you. I hope that you reach your TOEFL goals uh, very soon.